Imagine an eye that never blinks, watching from the stratosphere, ready to strike without making a sound. That is the new reality of the Hellenic Armed Forces. They've recently built an arsenal packed with the absolute latest in drone technology, showcasing some of the most advanced machines in the world. But which ones truly stand out? In this video, we'll find out as we explore the top 10 most powerful military drones in the Hellenic Armed Forces. Let us kick off this aerial journey right in the backyard of Greek innovation with the Atlas 204. You know, when you think about the Hellenic Armed Forces, you have to remember they are dealing with a logistical nightmare, which is the Aegean Sea. We are talking about thousands of islands, rocks, and islets where anyone could be hiding. This is where the Atlas 204 comes in to save the day, and honestly, it is a piece of technology that makes you realize how far domestic production has come. This tricopter might look small, but do not let the size fool you, because it is serving as the eyes for the special forces. What makes this drone absolutely fascinating is not just that it can fly for about 45 minutes, but the way it handles data. It uses something called a mesh network. Imagine a web in the sky where every drone talks to the other ones. So if one loses signal, the others bridge the gap. It is like a team of flying rugby players passing the ball to make sure the video feed gets back to the operator. It is incredibly resistant to jamming too, which is a massive deal in modern warfare. The Greeks designed this specifically for the gusty winds of the Mediterranean. Have you ever tried flying a cheap drone at the beach? It flies away forever. The Atlas 204, however, eats wind for breakfast. It is a tactical asset meaning it is deployed right there on the field by the guys with the boots on the ground. It gives them situational awareness that used to require calling in a helicopter. Now they just pop this tricopter up, scan the area with high-definition thermal cameras, and they know exactly what is waiting for them behind the next hill. It is the perfect start to our list because it proves that you do not always need a massive wingspan to make a massive impact. It is agile, it is smart, and it is proudly Greek. Moving on from the specialized Greek tech, we land on a platform that might look surprisingly familiar to some of you tech enthusiasts out there. The Matrice 300. Yes, you heard that right. It is built by DJY, the same company that probably made the drone your neighbor uses to annoy you on Sunday mornings. But hold on because the Hellenic Armed Forces are not using this to film wedding videos or scenic sunsets. They have taken this commercial beast and turned it into a serious military asset. This is what we call a dual-use technology, and it is brilliant because it is cost-effective and reliable. The Matrice 300 RTK is a workhorse. It offers up to 55 minutes of flight time, which is just enough time to watch an episode of your favorite show, or in this case, track a hostile target moving across the border. It can carry multiple payloads, meaning they can strap different types of cameras and sensors onto it, depending on what the mission needs. We are talking about a hybrid camera with a laser rangefinder that can pinpoint a target's coordinates from 1,200 meters away. It is like having a sniper's eye in the sky, but without risking a human life. The Greeks use this heavily for border surveillance, especially along the Evros River. It has this cool feature called Smart Track, where it locks onto a moving object, like a vehicle or a person, and just follows it automatically. It is relentless. If you try to run from this thing, you are just going to die tired. And since we are talking about keeping eyes on the prize, make sure you keep your eyes on our channel. If you enjoy seeing civilian tech get a military upgrade, smash that like button right now. It really helps us out. The Matrice 300 proves that sometimes the best tool for the job is the one you can buy off the shelf, provided you know how to use it. It is versatile, easy to repair, and deadly accurate in its surveillance role. Now let us get back to something that sounds like it crawled out of a mythology book and grew wings. At number 8 we have the EMPUSAX6. The name alone gives you chills, right? In mythology, Impusa was a shape-shifting demigoddess, and this drone is just as scary for the bad guys. This is another victory for the Greek defense industry, specifically SAS technology. While the previous drones we talked about were mostly for looking and peeking, the Impusa X6 is built for heavy lifting. 
It is a hexacopter, meaning it has six rotors, giving it incredible stability and power. But here is the pattern interruption you were waiting for. This thing is not just watching you, it can actually drop things on you. It is designed to carry tactical loads, including rocket-propelled grenades. Imagine a drone hovering silently and then unleashing an RPG round with pinpoint accuracy. That is terrifying. It turns the infantryman into a long-range striker. The design is super modular, so they can swap out the weapon for extra batteries or different sensors in minutes. It is basically the Swiss Army knife of death from above. The Hellenic Army loves this because it bridges the gap between a soldier with a rifle and calling in an airstrike. It is personal, direct, and immediate fire support. The Impusa X6 can carry a payload of around 10 kilograms, which is plenty of weight for some serious ordnance. It is also designed to resist recoil, so when it fires, it does not just flip over in the air. That takes some serious engineering wizardry. It represents a shift in doctrine where drones are no longer just passive observers. They are active participants in the firefight. It is aggressive, it is Greek, and it is definitely not something you want to see hovering over your position. Let us switch gears and look at a legend in the field of small tactical drones, the Aerovernment RQ-20 Puma. This is an American classic that has found a very happy home in Greece. Unlike the previous drones, which were rotary wings, basically helicopters, the Puma is a fixed-wing aircraft. It looks like a high-tech model airplane, but it is way more expensive and way smarter. The beauty of the Puma is that it is hand-launched. You literally have a soldier throw it into the air like a javelin to get it started. There is something very primal and cool about that, don't you think? Once it is up, it uses its wings to glide and fly efficiently, giving it much longer range than a quadcopter. But here is the retention hook. The RQ-20 Puma is waterproof. And when you are a country like Greece with thousands of kilometers of coastline, waterproof is not just a feature, it is a necessity. This drone can land directly in the salt water, bob around like a duck, and be picked up by a boat, dried off and thrown back into the air. That is insane durability. It is used extensively by the Hellenic Navy and Special Forces for maritime surveillance. It flies quietly, looking down with a gimbaled camera that has 360 degrees of continuous pan. It creates a seamless picture of what is happening on the waves. Whether it is spotting illegal crossings or monitoring enemy naval movements, the Puma is always there. It has an endurance of over three hours and a range of 20 kilometers. It is the perfect scout. It is rugged, proven in combat zones all over the world, and it fits the Greek defensive strategy perfectly. By the way, if you are loving this deep dive into military tech, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We upload new videos every single day, so you will never miss out on the action. The Puma might not have the firepower of the Impusa, but knowledge is power, and this bird sees everything. Okay, prepare to have your mind blown by the shape of this next one. We are looking at the Shield AIVBAT. If you saw this thing sitting on the ground, you would be confused. It looks like a long tube with a fan at the bottom and wings at the top. It stands vertically on its tail. This is what we call a VTOL, or Vertical Takeoff and Landing Drone. It blasts off straight up like a rocket. And then once it is high enough, it tilts over and flies horizontally like a regular plane. It is the transformer of the drone world. The Hellenic armed forces are looking at this because it solves a huge problem. Runways. On a small island or the deck of a frigate, you do not have space for a runway. The VBAT does not care. It can take off from a space as small as four meters by four meters. It uses a ducted fan, which is safer for the operators because there are no exposed spinning blades to chop anyone's fingers off. Once it transitions to horizontal flight, it is incredibly efficient. We are talking about 10 hours of endurance. Imagine that. This thing can stay up all day or all night. It has a very small logistical footprint, meaning you do not need a massive crew to operate it. Two people in a pickup truck, or a small space on a ship, and you are good to go. The VBAT is a game changer for the Greek Navy because it extends the vision of their frigates way beyond the horizon. 
It can carry different sensors, including electronic warfare packages, to listen in on enemy communications. It is futuristic, it looks weird in the best way possible, and it gives Greece a massive tactical advantage in the confined waters of the Aegean. It is proof that sometimes to go forward, you have to think vertically. We are halfway through the countdown and things are getting serious. Next up is the Aeronautics Defense Orbiter 3. This is where we step into the realm of high-performance tactical systems. Greece has a strong relationship with Israeli defense companies, and the Orbiter 3 is a prime example of that partnership bearing fruit. This drone is launched from a catapult. Yes, a catapult. It shoots into the air with incredible speed and then uses an electric motor to cruise. Why is the electric motor important? Because it is silent. This is the silent hunter of the list. You cannot hear it coming until it is too late. It is designed for deep penetration missions, gathering intelligence far behind enemy lines. It can stay airborne for seven hours and has a range of over 100 kilometers. That is a massive coverage area. The Orbiter 3 is small enough to be tactical, but powerful enough to provide strategic level data. It uses a parachute and an airbag to land upside down to protect its camera payload. It looks a bit undignified when it lands, legs up in the air, but it keeps the expensive glass safe. The Hellenic Army uses these to monitor borders and watch over critical infrastructure. It is incredibly hard to detect on radar because of its composite materials and small size. It is practically a ghost. The camera on this thing is so good it can read a license plate from kilometers away. It is all about precision and stealth. If you are enjoying this stealthy approach, do not be silent yourself. Leave a comment below and tell us which drone is your favorite so far. The Orbiter 3 shows that Greece is investing in technology that prioritizes intelligence superiority. In modern warfare, the one who sees first, shoots first, and the Orbiter ensures Greece sees first. Now let us pay some respect to the veteran of the group, the Sagem Spurwer. This machine has been in service with the Hellenic Army Signal Corps for quite some time, and it has earned its stripes. It is a French-made tactical drone, and honestly, it is a bit of a beast. It is not sleek and silent like the Orbiter. The Spurwer is loud and proud. It sounds a bit like a flying lawnmower, but it gets the job done. It is launched from a massive pneumatic catapult mounted on a truck. The launch is violent and awesome to watch. Zero to flight speed in a split second. It has a delta wing design and a pusher propeller at the back. The Greeks use this primarily for artillery spotting. In the old days, you had to send a poor guy with binoculars to the front line to tell the artillery where to shoot. Now the Spurwer flies over, uses its laser designator to paint the target, and the artillery rains down hell with pinpoint accuracy. It can fly for about five hours and travel 200 kilometers. When it is done, it deploys a parachute and lands on three big airbags to cushion the impact. It is a bit clunky compared to the newer tech, but it is rugged and reliable. The soldiers love it because it has proven itself in tough conditions. It represents the backbone of the Greek tactical drone fleet for years. It is like that old pickup truck that keeps running no matter how much you abuse it. You have to respect the classics. The Spurrer might be getting older, but in the hands of the skilled Greek operators, it is still a very dangerous tool for any adversary. It proves that you do not always need the newest toy. You just need a tool that works every single time you push the button. At number three, we have a very special entry, the EAV HAI Pegasus. This is the grandfather of Greek drones, the Pegasus. The name fits perfectly because in mythology, Pegasus was the divine winged horse, and this drone was Greece's way of reaching for the heavens on its own terms. This was developed by the Hellenic aerospace industry. It is a point of national pride because it proved that Greece could design and build its own unmanned systems way before it became a trend. We are talking about the Pegasus II mainly, which is the upgraded version. It is a medium-altitude, long-endurance drone. It looks a bit retro with its twin-boom tail design, but retro is cool, right? It can carry a variety of sensors, including high-resolution cameras and infrared sensors for night operations. It has an endurance of roughly 15 hours, which is impressive for a domestic design from its era. 
The Pegasus was built to ensure that Greece did not have to rely 100% on foreign powers for its surveillance. It gives the commanders independence. It is used for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. While it might not have the stealth of the orbiter or the firepower of the Impusa, it carries the spirit of Greek engineering. It paved the way for the newer projects like the Architas and others we are seeing today. It is a reminder that innovation is a marathon, not a sprint. The Pegasus is still flying, still watching, and still serving the country. The Pegasus is not just a machine, it is a symbol of self-reliance, and in the military world, self-reliance is everything. Now we are entering the heavyweight division. This is where things get massive. At number two is the IAI Atan Heron TP. If the other drones were birds, this is a pterodactyl. It is huge. We are talking about a wingspan of 26 meters. That is comparable to a Boeing 737 passenger jet. Can you imagine a drone that big? The Hellenic Armed Forces leased these from Israel to get a strategic advantage that is almost unfair. The TP stands for turboprop, meaning it has a powerful engine that can take it to altitudes of over 13,000 meters. That is way above commercial air traffic. It can stay up there for over 36 hours. It can take off from Greece, fly to the other side of the Mediterranean, loiter for a day, and come back without breaking a sweat. It is known as a mail drone, medium altitude, long endurance. But honestly, it performs like a hail system. The sensors on this thing are classified, but let us just say it can see things from the stratosphere that you wouldn't believe. It can track hundreds of targets simultaneously. It is effectively a satellite that you can bring back down and reload. For Greece, this changes the entire strategic map. They can monitor the entire Eastern Mediterranean continuously. It is not just about watching borders anymore. It is about dominating the information space. The Heron TP is intimidating. When you have something this big and this capable, it acts as a deterrent. The enemy knows you are watching and they know they cannot hide. It is the eye that never blinks. This acquisition catapulted the Hellenic Air Force into the elite club of strategic drone operators. It is a masterpiece of aerospace engineering. And finally, at number one, the absolute apex predator of the skies, the MQ-9 Reaper. This is the drone that needs no introduction. It is famous or infamous globally. The Hellenic Air Force's move to acquire these American beasts is the ultimate statement of power. The Reaper is not just a surveillance drone, it is a hunter-killer. It is bigger, faster, and deadlier than almost anything else in its class. It has a wingspan of 20 meters and is powered by a massive turboprop engine, giving it a speed of over 400 kilometers per hour. But what makes it number one? The teeth. The MQ-9 Reaper can be armed with Hellfire missiles and laser-guided bombs. It does not just find the target, it eliminates it. It closes the loop between I see you and game over in seconds. For Greece, possessing the Reaper means they have a strategic strike capability that can reach anywhere in the region. It can loiter for 27 hours, fully armed, waiting for the perfect moment. The sensor suite is the best in the world, combining synthetic aperture radar, infrared, and optical cameras. It allows the pilots, sitting comfortably in a ground station hundreds of kilometers away, to have a better view of the battlefield than the people actually standing on it. It is the ultimate force multiplier. Bringing the Reaper into the Hellenic Armed Forces is a clear message to any potential aggressor. Do not mess with us. It represents the pinnacle of unmanned aerial warfare. It is the terrifying reality of modern combat and it secures the top spot on our countdown without breaking a sweat. And there you have it, folks. These were the 10 best drones in the Hellenic Armed Forces. Which of these machines really impressed you? Let us know in the comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see much more rankings like these.